Hi, and welcome back to the Up Content YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be going over the anatomy of a content card within the Up Content platform. There's a few different things on the content card that you might have questions about, and in this video, we intend to kind of cover those questions and go over what the content card itself entails. So if we hover over the content card, we can see right here there's the garbage cam. That would be to delete the suggested article itself. Below that, we have the title of the article. Below that, we have the source of the article. And then next to that, we actually have the exclude source button. The exclude source button will take away all articles from this source. So for instance, business to community is the source. If we click on that, it'll take away all of the different articles that are from business to community. Down here, we have a drop down that will either identify as blog, news, or other. That is up content's way of using machine learning to be able to classify what these different articles are. If you wouldn't mind if something isn't labeled as it should be, if you change it to whatever it should be, it will actually help our machine learning reclassify and it'll be doing us a huge favor. Also, there's a star button next to here for favorites. If we favorite something, you can go ahead and do show all favorites only and only your favorited articles will appear. You have your notes button right here if you want to leave a note on an article. You have your share button here. If we click the share button, it will take us directly to Buffer. But also on the desktop, we have the ability to share uh, by, like I said, Buffer, HubSpot, or Funnel Amplified. Um, and then if you're working within Hootsuite, you can share within Hootsuite. If you're on your phone, it'll be using your phone's native sharing preference. And then we also have the Add to Collection button here. If we go over to collections, we have the same exact things that would be on the content card itself. The only difference is if we hover over it, there is this edit button that we can actually edit the summary of the article itself. Also, if we look at take a look at the content card in the list view, we can see that we have the article's name up here, the source, the description of the article itself, the favorite button, notes button, share button, add do collections button, the machine learning drop down, the remove suggestion button, and the edit suggestion button. One thing that is not here at this moment is the remove source button from the content card, and that is something that we are working on internally. If you have any questions or any concerns about the UpContent platform, please reach out to us at info at upcontent.com, myself specifically, Dylan at upcontent.com, or you can give us a phone call at the number 412-447-1773. Thanks.